Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back again with another really interesting coding interview question video. This time guys, we will solve question number 1672, the richest customer wealth question. Before I start with the problem statement, guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. Let's get started with the problem statement now. So basically guys, we are given an array of arrays. And uh, in each uh, value of this array is actually the wealth of the customer. So for example, the first sub array is having the wealth of customer number one. And each and every element of this sub array is actually the bank wealth. So for example, in this case, the first customer has three bank accounts and all these three have values one, two and three. Okay. So if we add all this wealth, the number comes out to be 6. So 6 is the total wealth of customer number 1. And 6 is also the total uh, wealth of customer number 2. We have to return the maximum wealth value. So in this case, because both the customers have the same wealth, uh, both are equally rich. So the answer is 6 here. In another example, we can see that uh, we have got 3 customers again. And the sec second customer is having the most amount of wealth, which is 10. So that's why the output here is 10. And another example, you can see that the output is 17, which is the maximum amount of wealth for one customer. Constraints are that uh, both M and N, that means the shape of the array uh, ranges from 1 to 50. And the value of the account ranges from 1 to 100. Okay. So maximum a bank can have a 100 units of wealth. So now that we know the problem statement guys, let's jump to the solution part. So we are going to declare two variables here. One is going to be the max wealth variable, which is going to be our result that we will return. And another is going to be the wealth variable, which is going to be a temporary uh, holder of wealth for each customer. Okay. Now we are going to run our for loop. So integer i0 to i less than accounts dot length i plus plus. And we are going to initialize a temporary wealth variable to 0. So this temporary wealth variable is going to just sum the values of the inner sub array. Okay. By default, it is going to be at 0. Now we will run another inner for loop in which we will traverse each and every bank wealth values and sum them into wealth. So integer j equals to 0 to j less than accounts i dot length. Uh, length value is wrong okay length uh, j plus plus now simply wealth wealth becomes equals to wealth plus accounts i j accounts i j and once this for loop is over we are just going to find out if max wealth is lesser than the wealth which we have just calculated if that is true then just assign max wealth uh, wealth to max wealth and then we'll go back into this for loop wealth will again be reset to zero and again we will calculate for the next customer finally we are just going to return max wealth let's run this code guys let's see if this works for our solution uh, and there you go uh, it is accepted for one example and hopefully it will get accepted for others as well and yes it is Talking about the time complexity. So the time complexity for this solution is order of n square guys. Because we are running a nested for loop. Uh, the first for loop is running for the total number of accounts. And the second for loop is uh, running for the total number of. Uh, the first for loop runs for the total number of customers. And the second runs for total number of accounts. So that's why the time complexity is order of n square. The space complexity is order of 1. Because we are not using any extra space here. Okay. So that was the solution guys. I hope you guys like the solution and I hope your coding practice became a little bit better. If it has guys, then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for future notifications. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, write down in the comment section below. I would be happy to read them. Uh, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care and bye bye.